Hello! Uh, I finally bought myself a water tank. That's 200 liters or 50 gallons or so. And I attached one of those to it. So I can mix my nutrients here and then pull it down this hose. We're in the greenhouse. And this is the sort of pressure I'm getting. That's not bad, right? So let's uh, let's start over here then. No, let's start here. I got a new fan. It's electronic and stuff. And <laughs> I got a remote for it. LOL! Oh yeah, and that's how Swedish people say LOL. We say LOL. So here is a poblano, which is flowering quite nicely. And um, let's see. The isolation is working. They pollinate inside the bags. Here's one that I've cut open. So, all your isolated seeds are belong to me. Here is the devil's rib. A few pods left on it. And Let's not step on that and break it. I filled up two of these buckets with uh, sugar and yeast. And uh, let's see if we can see some bubbling. It's really smelly. Well, I want the carbon dioxide that the fermentation process creates to help my plants a bit. And from what I've read, two buckets in this size greenhouse should suffice well. Stop stepping on it. Let's see. This is the Cayenne Long Slim. It's also flowering nicely. Well, everything is almost flowering now, but yeah. Seven pot yellow flowering. Chocolate habanero, flowering, has some pods on it. And uh, I think I said something in the last video, but you should be able to notice it. Many of my plants are um, light in color like this. And I suspect it's uh, iron deficiency because they're still growing and stuff. So what's this then? LOL! Unknown. No, it's a Peruvian white. Why doesn't it have a label? Weird. Must have gotten loose. Yeah. So yeah, I've, uh, I've mixed in... Uh, well, I've dumped nutrients on them uh, once with uh, 1.8 EC. And... Uh, they got a little bit darker, but I have to repeat that. But it's not warm, so they don't drink anything. Yeah, and here's the habanero. Habanero, whatever. Um, only some huge pods left. <laughs> and it also started flowering again. Nice, right? the stem and here are my roots still very brown but if you look closely you can see some white tips starting to develop so it's recovering perhaps I should buy some hydrogen peroxide and dump in there leave a comment down here if you want to tell me what do you think 
And here are more lilies. Bought a big pack with like 12 uh, leeks or roots of uh, more lilies. Let's see what happens with them. And here is a space number 9 starting to ripe. It's, uh, it's quite big. Still haven't sold these demon reds and uh, this Tabasco. No flowers on that. Let's say I'm a Aji Armandino, I think. Uh, more demon reds. And more isolation going on. Let's turn around. And yeah, this new mix twilight didn't make it. It's dead. Another demon red that I'm looking to sell, but I haven't. I'm not good at selling live plants. <laughs> and the uh, Brugmansia starting to uh, grow lots. And it's uh, <laughs> it's kind of leaning. Look at how bent that is. Uh, that's funny. And you start to do, do your thing. Do you see? No, it's kind of smelly still. And let's see, yeah. Here's a Naga Viper, my second Naga Viper plan. And here's a pod. Nom, 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 nom. And yeah, not much going on here. I think I have. Um, What's it called? Oh, brain fart. I don't remember. But humidity is way too high for these tomatoes. If I could have some heat, that could be rectified. But as it is, I'll have to get something to kill this. Or I'm going to lose the tomatoes. Blondie. Flowering. Getting isolated. It's the Cherio Roxa. It uh, still has lots of fruits for me to pick. And this one is the funny one. This was one of the space, right? Yeah, sp space, uh, space number eight. Twister. And this is the space four. It has flowered for a bit now. It's gonna produce lots and lots of pods. I even had flowers, yeah, as you can see, I have flower buds down here. And the fruits grow uh, like uh, this long. Ah, you can't see. It, it grows like a foot, like 20, 25 centimeters. So, uh, I have to take those buds because it's going to grow down in the soil. And we don't want that. Naga vipers. Nom, nom, nom. Oh man, it's so overexposed. Oh yeah, what a surprise. It's overcast today. And it's raining. And uh, behind the Naga Viper here, we have a TMS yellow, Trinidad Moruga Scorpion, with some pretty substantial pods on it. And both, both of them are flowering. Yeah, let's see the temperature. That's not good. And uh, Isbets. Going good. Ooh! And here's the Trinidad mild seasoning I talked about. It's starting to ripen up. Doesn't that look nice? Mm, nom, 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 nom. And here's the one I don't have a label for. Parting to. Parting to. Starting to ripe up too. And behind that is the most evident iron deficiency 
as you can see it's very very yellow kind of fits too because it has yellow fruits lots of them nice well not lots but most it's had and here's another space being ripe I think this is a space one yeah it's a space 7 Twisty, twisty. <clears throat> What's this then? Oh, it's a, uh, it's my Peter Pepper. Hello, Peter. It's time for you to get erect. <laughs> um, my jalapenos, crazy kid, uh, are starting to be ripe. It's been a long time since I've uh, had any, and uh, orange Tabasco, also very good, very pod, much wow. And this plant is not doing very well. Serious nutrient deficiency. But this one is doing good. It's being beautiful. And the tomatoes, they're not good. It's growing now, flowering stuff. So, yeah. That's the tour for today. 12 minutes this time. See ya next time, peoples.